sequences in the show? Did you guys do a lot of training? We did train. Um, I think it was also the fact that they wanted to have this kind of be like a non uh, genre, like not like a specific genre of fighting because it's worked so far in the future and everyone had to learn the fighting just from like legit self-defense and how do we most effectively destroy somebody. Um, it's not, it shouldn't look trained. Right, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's not trained, it's not some like specific style of fighting. So it was kind of fun in that sense, especially since I've, I've never taken any sort of martial arts or fighting. I was like, oh, thank God, because now I can just do what they're telling me to do and it made it easier. Yeah, it's more about brute force, really. Yeah. For, especially for Wolf. It's more about, you know, crush, crush yeah. whatever it is and move on. So what drew both of you guys to the project? Well, we were, yeah, we were just saying how it's like, <laughs> um, I mean, reading it and being, I've been, I was telling everybody I wanted to do action and I, I've always said I wanted to do action and comedy. And, um, I've always wanted to do Marvel, and I love that stuff so much. And so when I read this, I was like, yes, this is perfect. It's comedy, it's crazy, but it's like grounded. Her name's Tiger. She beats the shit out of people, and she's the leader of the resistance. Why would I not want to do that? Yeah. So. That and Seth and Evan being... Well, yeah, of course. I mean, those guys being involved, you're just like, oh, yeah, well, please. And you also it yes. not being on a... Um, on a typical network was appealing to me. Yeah, there's a lot of freedom. Uh, so much. On, uh, on Hulu, on our yeah. platform, so. Well, uh, the show has a lot of nostalgia for the 80s, for uh, stories from the 80s. How important was that? Did you draw on that yourselves for your characters? You did, for sure. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how much of the show you've seen. But, uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a time travel show, so nostalgia is... A, it's inherently a part of, of the show. Um, and yeah, you listen to it, whatever time period I was in, I would be playing that music in my trailer, which I, my trailer is right yep. next to her. Yeah, so this was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Yeah, so a lot of random, <laughs> a lot of random stuff comes from my trailer. Uh, you know, yeah, you kind of immerse a little bit and yeah. do all that, and then you forget it and just play the, the stuff. Yeah. But, um, that's that's a huge fun part of the show, mm -hmm. you know, showing up and seeing what what decade we're in by looking at our wardrobe. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> it was just a, I mean, it was crazy just because the hours were insane and we we just worked really hard and it's just stuff was thrown at us. But the the, I mean, I would rather go to work and be surprised, literally, by not knowing what we're gonna shoot by that you have to look at the wardrobe that's you're like okay so we're in this okay this okay cool okay, and then you know because you know like you know your line I mean I just genuinely wouldn't know I know, I know me too like, I'd be like I know my lines I know what's happening but wait are we where are we so it was kind of fun that way which is great because that's sort of where the characters are yeah exactly. you know there, there's a lot of the, yeah. there was a lot that's a good point because there was a lot to us as actors like trying to dive into this type of world that just was so easily relatable to our characters that it was kind of like okay we would both like sometimes look at each other like this feels so freaking weird but we're just gonna do it and then we just did it and we both I was so happy to work with somebody and Josh as well that like we just all commit like we just go for it and it's not some like let's make a joke or let's be campy or let's it's like no we're going full-on like this is like legit apocalypse so is there a decade or time period that you guys did not do in the show that you wish you guys had done? I hope we go, I would like in the future to go further back Me too. outside of, you know, t uh, 20th century. Uh, you know, yeah. Some, any, like, just, just... Well, I'd like to go to the, like, the Wild West. Though. Yeah, that's fun. I think the Wild West would be really fun. Yeah, like the Gold Rush or something. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Although I'm, I'm afraid of horses, so that's going. Well, to Well, you would have to, you would have to ride a horse. I don't. I could figure something else out. I think. So ocean, ocean and yeah, horses. Yeah, no, or, ocean and horses. Those are my two greatest fears. It's just because I can't control them, guys. It's pretty easy psychoanalysis there. Well, how would you describe this show's future? This show's apocalypse. How does it differ from what we've seen in other similar stories about coming to the past? 
Well, the fact that it all started with herpes might be a bit of a departure from the standard, the standard uh, stories. Um, yeah, I think the, the specific story elements of it are unique, but the look of it, I mean, it's unique, but it's also recognizable. It's sort of dystopian and, and, and tragic, and we're doing a half-hour comedy, so we need something that is sort of recognizable in a lot of ways. That's why nostalgia is good for the show, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, thanks. <laughs> um, I'm trying to be supportive. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, but the way that the world gets there is certainly unique. Is there an element of each of your guys' characters that you identified with the most? Tiger's anger. It's a nice chord with me. <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I don't. I don't think my family enjoyed the. the you know. You that. brought your work home. I didn't mean to, man. I didn't mean to, but yeah. she's so fucking angry. Yeah. She was so angry, and it just, I think it just, I had to draw on that every day, and I think to go there just exposed so much within myself that I couldn't help but bring it home, and it was like, she, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that, like, I would do that, that was my, it was me at home every weekend, trying not to be tiger. I think Wolf's, uh, uh, there's something sort of childlike about him, yeah. eventually. I don't know yeah, if you see that, that so much in the pilot, but there's like something sort of him. playful, like he, you curious, know. Curious, very yeah. curious. Curious, curiosity, that's it. Yeah. Which I, I'm curious, curious person. Curious? Derek. Yeah. I don't know, it's fine, it's like, whatever. Yep, we're wrapping you guys. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys.